Hello Cobras and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. I am Dan Goro filling in for Triclight Tamer and uh, never mind he's back. Playing as Link. This is the way we go for the item of the dungeon here at Goron Mines that we started last time. Enter into a dark little cove that awaits probably even dangerous monsters more so than previously. Yeah. What is there going to be? More torch slugs? Not like it's a big deal. I'm just going to ignore you and open this chest of great wonder. What is inside, I wonder? It is the hero's bow! This treasure of the Gorons is said to have once belonged to a hero from the past. Set it to YSRR on the item screen and shoot with the assigned button. Aim at targets with blah or blah and press the assigned button to shoot. You can carry up to 30 arrows. So, we are officially upgrading from slingshot to bow for great wonderful things and you are my test monkey Ooh, hoo, ha, ha. and you're gonna give me a greater surplus of arrows than I'd ever need because our current limit is 30 and yes there will be upgrades and rest in peace to that blue ruby that fell down there and okay <laughs> this guy's responding I'm gonna finish you if I'm gonna do the thing nope you're not <laughs> you haven't done the ignition thing and <laughs> rest in peace to that green ruby as well oh well we got 303 so never trust a leap oh oh yeah shoot right in the middle of that oh I wanted to pick the arrow back up but this is exactly Botawu. Oh, I see you out in the distance there. But yeah, it's pretty strategic to hit right at the start so you can get both things instead of just uh, doing one thing at a time. Oh man, it seems we have more Beemos dudes around here. And I'm not too big of a fan of the creepy music going around. 313, that's a very significant number in some sort of fashion. I forget exactly where, but <laughs> at some point. And yep, that's the Beemos you go to to activate all the other ones. Can you reach me from here? I guess not. Uh, I thought I was going to be stylish and hitting you when you're not exactly looking at me, but I have to do the rookie way of doing things, and that's all I need to do to continue it long, but there are other alcoves to get to, and <laughs> these guys are just barely not close enough to hit me, uh, and I guess I could kind of do stuff with that, but it would just be a way to block it. That's how we stop for you, and yeah, sniping abilities to boot. Oh man, <laughs> can I get you from there? No. <laughs> Gonna hit you when you're off screen. Wait for you. <laughs> yeah. Kind of a big blow, big blow, <laughs> big bow, so it kind of blocks how you do things. <laughs> Blocking bow, mayor bow. I wonder if the mayor bow has a bow. A bow flat said he exercises that wonderful chest on. Mm. Let us just keep holding these things back. I see you back there, torch slug, behind a non necessary needed to kill Beemos because there is no Beemos there. <laughs> Anyway, though, a chest to open contains the compass. I was wondering where this was, but I figured it was here. Handy tool to see where the items are in the dungeon. So I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at the map, which is not here. <laughs> so we press up on the D-pad, which just happens to show a map. Uh, yeah, that's the area we've been to before, but I haven't really reached high enough. I don't think we can actually get the thing that is there. Or is that a, that's a lava room rather than a thing of import. But either way... There is something up that way that we must grab. And we will be going back to this dungeon later on with more items, so it's not like we can miss things. We already have the heart pieces we need and the single stamp that we can get at this point. Okay, where is that thing? Have we not gone into in these alcoves? Pull this beam most out of the way. Probably only those couple notches will be fine enough. Yeah, maybe in the first notch would have been fine if I were to slip my way through. A barricaded off room that we must go to. This guy must not appreciate things too much. Oh well, I guess he's just a Breath of the Wild monk. But this is a different game. Does he have the weed on his pubes? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go and do speaking. Ah, you are here at last! I heard that you might pay a visit, young human. I'm farsighted in all things. Here you go, the last key shard. Combine all three shards. Do do we do things I missed the first couple notes, but oh well, we got the big key and it looks really cool. Hurry to the boss. Anything is a big key if you're brave enough. <laughs> if you use that key, you can open the room where Darvis, the tribal patriarch, is being held. Who knows how powerful Darvis is in his new grotesque form? But I suppose that you trust your power considering you came this far. Hurry now to the patriarch's room. And I'm just remembering that we have Uku, but we don't need to use her because it would just bring us to the very beginning of the dungeon. Those couple rooms that we need to go through. I mean, yeah, with the magnetic abilities activated, it would be nice. Wonderful purple ruby. I said I need to quit using that descriptive word. And he's got actual Dodongos skinned alive here, even though they're pretty much dead. Hopefully, <laughs> don't come to life and come attack me. This guy's the true boss of the thing. He's the uh, usurper patriarch, whatever. Hey, look at all these hand prints. Maybe human prints. Yeah, they got the different things. I can take the time to do things. Uh, I kind of feel like I'm getting 
a little strain on my wrist. Hopefully it's not carpal tunnel. I don't think it should be. Maybe <laughs> from me to my mouth in some ways. I don't know. Uh, any rupees out of this stuff? Nope. Just the purple rupee from the chest. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, but yeah. Yeah, it's like I called it a wonderful 50 rupees or something like that because I was ranting about how I say that word too much. Nowhere to climb, nowhere to run. So I just continue out of there. <laughs> Real time, pretty much, with the way the stopwatch is. Oh man, I have to push that way again. Or maybe, can I, can I squeeze through? No? I'm mean, sure you could push your way through. Let's try that single thing. Okay, it wouldn't let me. It was pushing again, regardless. Uh, it's like wheels over there, spooky wheels. But it's not necessary, and I thought that would be mostly coming back to loud. I heard that weird buzzing sound, I was like, what? <laughs> Do I have to kill them again? Not like what I've needed to kill all of them, just the singular one there. And here's this room. A good place to test out your bow, most definitely, with all the torch slugs on the ceiling. And even the Dodongos up there, and a little gym thing. And yes, your arrow being metallic is enough to hit that. Can you hit it from here? I'm sure you probably could, but... It would have to be like very frame perfect, probably not at this exact spot. <laughs> it would have been funny if I got there after saying that, but I won't do things normally. I keep saying I want to try a glitch thing, but I'm playing the green game, the game, the game normally. Glame formally, I'm a glaive knave. Gladius is the Latin word for sword, or gladius if you want to be more specific. Well, I was kind of overdoing it there just to how things are. Oh man, I was trying to shoot that Dodongo up on the ceiling in the tail so it can do damage before having to get too close, but alas, that ain't happening. Yeah, all these annoying fire keys around. You are fired. Can I shoot you in the face? Yeah, I got you right there. Probably blasted you far away. Now you're another guy I was trying to hit you with my sword, but it used an arrow regardless. <laughs> Gonna have to definitely recover my arrows. How do we get through here? Oh, I guess by doing that. Uh, these arrows might give me something. Ain't happening quite yet. Oh, can I reach that? It's disappearing. I was just marveling in awe too much. Uh, you're aiming your face at me, then I can shoot you in the tail. Well, as well as tail up there. People are sending me messages. Let me send again. <laughs> so instead of the sound pick up the ding, it's just gonna be rrr. It's like, whoa, it's scaring me. Uh, I mean, yeah, I can so easily take them out with my sword here, but I don't want to take chances. Shake chances. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe. Something asking if there's something more tanky using that team. I took a look at it. Uh, can I jump over there? Okay, just barely carrying it. <laughs> the way things were. Oh, yeah. I picked up an arrow that I previously had ducked around. So you can kind of do that, especially with the ones that the Bulbo and Archer shoot at you. Uh, I thought I was missing a switch on the other side of the room, but it's just right here. Yeah, it's technically on the other side of the room. It's uh, not on the polar opposite side, I guess. Let's move forward with my bow out like this, but it's not doing the first person thing because you can strafe around if you do it like that. I'm just gonna walk forward so I can get close enough to do it. And I'm gonna go into normal mode so I can do that. Please. Take it easy, it's not like it's trying to do things here in Colorado, California. Oh, it's trying to uh, go with the Eagles song for whatever reason. And it's very fun right here. Oh man, I only have one arrow left. Oh, can I make the shot? I got it. Oh, I thought it wasn't responding for a second. I was like, oh man, where am I going to get my arrows now? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's safe enough to drop right down. I don't think there's anything else to clutch because there's nothing in the way of chest showing on the screen. Just the way forward from here. 8.45, we are almost at. A little bit was cut off going into the intro weird thing I did. Yeah, singular chest. I th I predict it's going to be a 50 rupee. Yes, it is. I remember how things work. It kind of feels like it could be another stamp with how things are. I mean, that was pretty out in the open. Just you getting some money. Maybe if you're <laughs> making all this way and your shield is burnt, or well, you wouldn't really need to use your shield too much unless you wanna. <laughs> I was being weird. I was like trying to use a shield bash, which could be helpful for the what you might call it, the <laughs> don't like the fire toad police. Or not toad police, the fire. Yeah, that's the name. Confusing things with stuff. Wild poles and Pikmin, you know? And let us do that to immediately hop up, and we are at an even higher point in this room. Alright, where is that? Drop it down, though. It's not like we're unsafe, it's just putting us down over this point anyway. I already got the chest, so yeah, I think from here I just need to go back to the Goldwood Archer room, which I think is just down here. Well, it's the watery room, so I think it's after that. Either way, we're not too super far from it, so let's just continue along. 
we're not gonna cut forward because when we're going this stream, there are gonna be different enemies. The water toad boys, or toad boys if you prefer, because they're already native to the water world. And let's see if I can avoid them. Uh, no, let's see if I can try it, Sebastian, to get it back like that, yeah. And you can do that with the fire dudes if you so feel inclined. And then we can kill these females after shooting y'all in the skulls for a one shot kill. Oh yeah! Oh, I thought I was gonna get the dude when he was twisting around. There, got you like that. Not like I needed to do anything of that sort, but it makes things easier in my life. Is there another dropper? Uh, it's just the default one they had to walk up to and slash with your sword. And we already have the big key and all the items of the dungeon, so we can just go straight to the boss room, but we have to find out exactly where it is. Well, there's a way we have it traversed, and if you look at the mini-map at the bottom screen, that's how we do things. It's gonna take you down normally with a few normal slashes, yeah. It's weird because the guys respawn, but there's more dudes for you to test your bow with. Yeah, there's the... Okay, I guess there's four guys here. Lined up weirdly. And just gotta go based on the point of the thing. I don't think there's a way to make a reticle, because there are items you can combine this with that we'll see soon enough. Oh, <laughs> there's a guy right there. I'm surprised he wasn't trying to aim at me, not until I looked at him. Hello, I'm just gonna walk right into your arrow. Make sure I'm putting things away. It's like I'm holding the X button that I used to shoot with, but mashing A to put it away. Uh, oh yeah, there's also these arrows if you wanna try, but I'm too cool for that. Okay, so I'm gonna do anything, is it? Uh, shoot it from close enough, so that chain reaction of explosiones. Anything there for me? Nothing there for me. Why is there nothing there for me? It's like I was singing along with the lack thereof of music, but still music nonetheless. There's things up there. Can I shoot it through right here? Yeah, I'm just gonna click right through. Yeah, it's gonna count as a full on texture, even if uh, I would be able to make it through the cracks. Fog up the glass and stuff. Pardon this minor burp I have going on. But I can move the beam most out of the way and it causes that to go down. And that seems to be quite the way forward. <laughs> so, weird way of traversing. Yeah, because I just need to make my way up and swivel around. Oh, there's more dudes. <laughs> uh, yep, they're gonna cause the explosion there. Bomb, arrows, igniting, fire, stuff, explosions. Switch words to make more sense. <laughs> That's something I could try in editing, but I'm just gonna say a big fat no to that. Uh, yeah, we don't only really need that around, but just if you want to get around easily. Uh, is there a chest? I probably could have... Oh, that's actually the way you do to get forward. <laughs> Using myself, I thought there was like a way for me to go to things. Let me just get my bearings straight before doing too much with this, though. I'm just going right above me. Yeah, it's just the way down I had to make my way up. Then let's see if I can jump up and yeah, stylishly do things. And do things like this. Kabuski. Make it drop down while it's moving in the cutscene. Mash that Y button. I'm sure I can climb up from no matter where I am. Let's keep her going. Where the heck am I? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was doing this. It's fun to do. Just uh, keep tricking the game. <laughs> Might be giving you guys headaches, though. Let's have a. It kind of feels like we are pretty high, though. Should be an easier way of getting up like a ladder somewhere. But oh well. Make your way here regardless. And we are in the final rooms before the purple boss of insanity. Is it going to be a poison fire type? A salazzle? Uh, somehow I feel not, if it's going to be some grotesque form of the Patriarch Darbus. Let's uh, prepare to snipe some dudes before they become problems. Shot in the heart with a flaming arrow. That ain't too great for me. Uh, there's springs out there over that way. I don't know. <laughs> Just trying to get them from this point. Okay, I'm just taking this damage in stride, because why not? I'm sure you can guess. If we don't get hearts from there, we're just gonna get arrows. But yeah, as I was saying, you could get a fairy just before the boss, which in practice is, like, not appearing for me. It's being weird, which I already have fairy anyway. Plus the red potion, so it's not like I'm hurting for too much. Anything, so I can destroy this. Reminds me back to Dragon Wrist, where you can get that flaming Boko stick, whatever. It's like Bosco stick. <laughs> I'm getting cravings for those. My mother's off to Texas Roadhouse for a going away ish party. Margarita's more than anything, but she's gonna bring me back a little bit of stuff to eat, but I might eat something before then. Anyway, though, we have a boss to take down. 
before we do too much with that. These are giant beamos that are inactive anyway, it's like face beamos. Oop, careful. <laughs> In case the fairy appears. Is it there? A tiny face? I guess not. Let's check all these other boss hey. Boss hey, like a plural for faces if you wanna be fancy in the way you say it. And for whatever reason there's no fairy here, unless it's uh more out that way, like uh the previous room or in a thing that I haven't hit. But anyway, I'm well enough, full on health, I have things to work with anyway. Let's open this big door and fight the big boss. <laughs> Gotta get a grip on the door just to move it out of the way. Theoretically, you could just push it out of the way and just duck under the chains, but I'm not gonna psychoanalyze things too much. Oh, is this an Ursa ring? A Lolan form? Well, if he's sleeping, it's not like it's a big deal. Us being a hero, we gotta get close. And the Eye of Sauron is awakening. Glowing with your close eyelids. But now you are more awakened. You don't have to roar in my face. It's okay, I'll I'll put you out of your misery. Let the shackles be released! After you inflame yourself. I have used some for that if you need it, I have it packed up for having a few unnecessary things packed before it moved to make things a little bit easier before it gets too close. Twilight Igniter, Virus, is our boss, and he's considerably easier than Diababa. All you have to do is shoot the very obvious glaring thing with the shiny stuff on the jewel on his head, then the metallic stuff is your lead to let you know that you should grab the chains to trip him up. But then, okay, I was trying to press A to put the things down, but it wasn't letting me. Oh, you don't hit him in the butt. So let's see if I can actually do some damage here. Let's do some spinning chest, because you want to be stylish with all this. And he's fading away with this. It's like a... kind of like the Water Wraith in Pikmin 2, but <laughs> obviously not as threatening throughout the dungeon, but eh, maybe even a little bit more difficult than the Water Wraith, because you can do things a little crazy with your time. Careful like this, yeah. <laughs> Slash it myself instead of punch you with fire. I feel like you'd be more of a threat than that. So, close enough. Grab your stuff along if I can actually get hold of it. Okay, don't let him walk away. Just uh, pull him away. You don't have to do crazy movements to actually get him to trip. Just uh, pull him back so he loses his balance, you know? And if the second verse, same as the first. So, do this and that. Do such great things. I think you knock these things down to recover health. But yeah, <laughs> of course the camera keeps focusing on him. I'm not pressing the uh, CL button, but I think it's uh, seen a way that does that, where you can hold a button and it focuses on him. As you know, it's uh, Shadow of Colossus. So you play it, I think it has something somewhere. Either way, we are playing a Zelda game, which those games are kind of inspired by Zelda in certain ways. One being an RPG, one just being a boss killing spree in an open world-ish area. <laughs> so I guess that kind of did it before Breath of the Wild. Probably the first cell is open world enough, because you don't have to go by the port of the dungeons, but it's almost intended. Uh, of course, I need to get closer if I want to be good, but I'm just being better and not being good at all. <laughs> if I'm making sense. And it could be cool and do the strafing thing without having to do the first person ish mode. Just roll away. You think that these ends of the chains would also be pretty spicily hot. But they're not. Knock them down for a third time. I feel like this is it. Yeah, I gotta grab the chain again and put the iron boots on again. Okay. <laughs> we have enough time to do the finishing move. Sword through the skull. You're gonna feel that in the morning if you don't already feel it now. Now he's in a blinding rage. You're trying to hit me, but to no avail. Uh, Link, you might want to step back a little bit if the crazy cinders falling out of it will hit you, or any potential explosions like that. If it was any larger scale, it would put a stop to your heart, instead of bringing out a heart container. Clip through your cap again, to do cool poses. The Girl on Mines wasn't really too long. We're not even 20 minutes into this, and we're already done with the dungeon. It's like a 45 minute dungeon, pretty much. Second view shadow for Minna. <laughs> well done. 
Now we have two few shadows. Hmm, you know, you've been very helpful so far, so as a reward, I'll tell you an interesting story. Zant. She said die, so maybe that's how you say his name in the weird language. That's the name of the King of Darkness who cast this pall of shadows over your world. He's very strong. You would be nothing to him in your current state. But Zant will never be my king. I have nothing but scorn for his supposed strength. Not that your Zelda is much better. It still appalls me that this world of light is controlled by that princess and my, dark, my barking dog out there. <laughs> I care for youth. A life of luxury. How does that teach duty? But I guess I shouldn't begrudge her the circumstances of her life. She didn't choose it after all, and I would never wish harm on her. No, as long as I can get my hands on the few shadows, I'll be just fine. You know, just fine. It seems that Darbus is back to normal. Well, just one more left, shall we? Hehehe. <laughs> well, not so soon though. We could go right out, but we have a few, few things we want to see. And it's gonna shed more light on this guy, literally. The rest of the darkness. <laughs> Let's grab our heart container, stare at it in great awe with our magnetic abilities. <laughs> There's crazy magnetic fields in here. Chuck McGill would not be too big a fan of it. Hello, Darbus. You and your rockin' faux hawk. Time to deal. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. What am I doing here? Ugh. My head. It aches. Doomfist confirmed. Keep talking to him. So much pain. I cannot remember anything. Well, I guess I'll leave that to you to do. I could kill those faces, yeah, because they're living things for more hearts, but I don't need that. Want to go outside? Are you all done here? Why, yes I am. But my business is never done with the wood and the metal. I guess fine leather is next. Or gelatinous jelly, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, we're done with the growing mines, and outside we shall be going. Saved off screen again, because it's kind of breaking the tension of things. It makes things more cinematic for me. It almost feels like a way for me to start another episode. But we're only 22 minutes into this. Heroic Lake! North of here, across the plain and past the great stone bridge, in the lands guarded by the spirit Lanairu, you shall find one who you seek. Who will be the one that we seek? These children. Seems Colin's all fine. Link! Maybe not fully tip top shape though. Ilya! You've got to save Ilya! Those monsters left me with the other kids, but they must have taken her somewhere else. Whenever I thought I couldn't go on, I would think of you and Ilya and hold on, Link. That's great to hear. See? I... I'm fine now. Delayed reaction, but deserving of a smile. Remember what I told you back in Ordon Link? When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you, Link. So you don't have to worry about me anymore. Go help Ilya. Leave the children to me. I will watch over them, I swear it. Do not let their fates trouble you. Go to those who need you. Very happily. In Hyrule, countless tales are told of the ancient hero, and your deeds bring them all to mind. May the graces of the great goddesses who shaped Hyrule bear you on your way. You must always face the curtain with a bow. We have their blessing. And before we do way too much, there's more to do in Kakarika Village. If you look way over there, just get some little sight with our stuff. But shoot an arrow way over that way. Okay, I guess it's not gonna happen now. The tallow is actually way up there. Don't need to heal anything. But we have a few things we can do, a few items to collect, especially now that we have our arrows. Plenty of things to do. But even more can be done. Let's go talk to Renato. Okay, yeah, opponent's over at the place I could have called her over. Much has happened here, but at last I feel joy beginning to return to this village, thanks to you. 
Even Tallow, who was so saddened by the incident with Colin, has at last recovered his good spirits. That young boy wanted dearly to help, so he keeps watch from the observation platform now. The lookout platform is high above the bomb shop. I'm sure that if you were to go there to speak to Tallow, you would be happy. Sounds like a fun time. Uh, let's see, there are plenty of Gorons around. <laughs> they're all happy and placated, so they're not going to attack us anymore. We are very grateful to you for saving our chief and our precious minds, brother. It caused a lot of trouble for the people of this town. It is our turn to repay them. Hey, brother, climb up on my back and I will launch you up to the hotel's hot spring. And I will climb on. And I'm just remembering I need to go to the graveyard and collect the bug there. But, yep, I will do that momentarily. And I will go up this way so I can do some rolling as I was trying to do a uh, jump attack with my sword while still midair. But, yep, that's an easy way to get up without having to do any sort of crazy parkour with stuff. And there is water here so you can go up here to recover even though there's a very convenient spirit spring. Whew, a good warm soak is just what my muscles need before evening falls, brother. I sell stuff across from the bomb shop at night. Hope to see you there, brother. Sounds fun to me. You saved our chief, brother, and we are the and we are thankful. Now we are able to come back down to the village again. Since this town was also attacked, I figured the townsfolk would need supplies. So my son and I brought some things down, brother. At night my son opens up a shop down below, she thought by sometime, brother. The room's protection is now ready to roll. <laughs> I've been waiting to say that. Couldn't really find a convenient point though, but I was noticing I was talking at that tone of stuff. Let's go ahead and hop down because not much needs to happen. <laughs> Still no fall damage, even when I just gotta do the rolling thing to deal with that. You there, Mr. Goron, dude. Now we're able to go out into the mines. I've been bringing Barnes a new delivery of bomb ingredients. Looks like he's already started selling them again. Should try out Barnes Grand Bombs sometime, brother. Say, brother, if you ever want to go to the top of the store, I can launch you up there. Uh, not quite yet. I think that is the way to get to our. Uh, thing up there, the observation platform, which uh, is a little bit closer than I thought. <laughs> yep. Weird draw distance or something. Maybe not quite a matter of that, I don't know. It's doing things that come to mind, or whatever. <laughs> anyway, into Bond's Barnes shop. Yep, so it shows where it's around. Hey now, bud! How about this now? Cripes! Yeah, I finally managed to get my numbers together and open up shop again. Well, sort of. I guess I've only got one type of bomb, but hey, that's one more than none, right? If only my storehouse had survived. Hey, and as bad as all that, I'll add more types as we go. For now, I have yourself a loot, see, for what I got so far. And we can buy 10 bombs for 30 rupees, sell them in packs of 10, you get a slide discount that way. Because you can't really get them <laughs> singly anyway. Or solo, we don't know. You ain't got a bomb bag. I got a special offer going on right now. You can buy a premium kit bomb bag. Which you get a bag and bombs, just 120 rupees. How about it? I'll take it. That's right, now you'll be able to taste the true higher perfection with my finely crafted bombs. Oh, and you can buy bombs and arrows to make bomb arrows when you need ranged explosives. I'll send you a letter with the details so you can read more about that stuff later on. Looks great to this bag with bombs, probably also forged out of a Dodongo stomach or maybe even the hide on the outside. <laughs> so, even an unspoken nod to things right there. Open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, so you just drop on by anytime. Even though the days are like... 10 minutes long, well, <laughs> infinitely long if you stay in the town, but if you go out to Hyrule Field or even on Death Mountain, time kind of passes there. Man, you got a light? Hey. Whoa, hey now, you insane bud? Cripes, that's dangerous. Don't go lighting fires in the middle of my shop. <laughs> you were saying? Hey, hey now, you insane? Yeah, but that's the same stuff. I'm just gonna climb upstairs. It's like smoking in an undesirable area. It's so frustrated they have to go full mask on mode. Oh man, we are soaking wet. We are forever drenched like this for the rest of the game, like in Link's Awakening, getting called Thief if you don't comply with buying things. But uh, I think we are good enough with things so far. Let's go out to the outside world to enjoy things, I guess. We are up at 29 minutes now, so I guess I can end the episode. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, we will be going around Kakarika Village and other areas to get some location combing done for collectibles. And also meeting talent everybody, which is also corroborated with collectibles. Anyway, yeah, until next time, do not touch yourself. And yes, I meant to do that explosion thing, because I am a daredevil of the Hylian.